My guest today is Marcus Dibbs, aka the Offensive Tranny. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The now banned on YouTube. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> so how uh, how have uh, the last couple? Um, well, first off, why don't you just go into and start talking about what happened, like what you've been dealing with, like the last, I guess, 24, 48 hours. Yeah. Um, so yesterday I got an email from YouTube that said um, that my YouTube channel is permanently banned. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was a little bit confused about why that was. Um, and then I sent my appeal, but they, it, they didn't ignore it, but they didn't agree apparently. And that didn't take them long, maybe like an hour or two. So obviously no one is actually looking through all my content. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't. They don't. Same thing happened with Twitter when I was kind of kicked off of there. So you're right. They don't do that. <laughs> right. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my channel back because I've been working really hard for like years. Um, but I'm not expecting anything to this point. Yeah. So now um, I haven't loaded up already. So again, as I said, for me, if you do not already go subscribe to Marcus's YouTube channel or Rumble channel, <laughs> Thank because you. Um, as we start to see this happen, we're going to start to, we, we need alternate platforms. Um, YouTube has kind of been one of those places where, it hasn't really started the ban train, but um, it's it's only a matter of time before they really start hammering down. Now, what's interesting is because, I mean, you had gotten your YouTube channel up. So this is what people don't realize. I mean, you, I think we started our YouTube channels around the same time. Um, and you were actually one of my first guests on the show. Mm, and yeah. about back in 2020. And so... Um, you know, time. and you were, I know you were, you were really killing it out there. What were you up to? 70 something thousand followers 75. and yeah, yeah just do, making great videos. I mean, you can see on your rumble channel, just great videos um, on Thank all you. the good topics. And it, it's, it's amazing. Um, now I don't have the article. I just, I just submitted the article today. Um, few hours ago so there should be an article published um that i wrote here pretty soon but um you had made a statement um in there and i forget what did you say you you made it on your twitter yeah um Instagram. about yeah. yeah about how uh youtube had i mean it's it's amazing how they keep they continue to silence trans voices that don't agree and I, I think that's what what the whole thing about it was but like i looked through some of this stuff i looked through your, i mean you look through your videos and it's like wh what did they think was hateful i have I no idea <laughs> and i don't know if that's like, the reason why they banned me because it says um they say that i am um what's it called um violating their rules and policies but they don't explain what what i'm doing wrong and what policies i'm violating so yeah. i'm very confused about the whole thing yeah i it again it's one of those things like they don't actually they, they owe creators who spend time you know on their channel they owe an explanation to tell you know, what exactly did, do you do to break these rules? And you've, ne I mean, you've never received a, even a strike on your channel, have you? I actually did. And it's, um, it was supposed to expire in June, which is a little bit ironic. Um, and I got a strike. I don't know what I did, but I got two videos removed from my channel. The, the one when I, I made a video about the Sims update where they made, uh, top surgery scars and like um, oh, yeah. I, I can't remember the other one what was the other update in that game with the trans women um, I can't remember oh yeah, I mean what's that 
they made shapewear. I'm not sure what that is, but like shapewear. Oh, yeah. On the, that was on the Sims game too, right? Or mm. was it on something else? I no, it was. I remember that story, but they didn't. They didn't let you know like what it was. Was it? It wasn't a copyright violation. No. It wasn't anything like that. It was hate. Now, it was. It was considered hateful. I mean, that was like my tweet was saying gender dysphoria is a mental illness, which, come on. And then they banned, they, they, Twitter suspended me for that. But I got an apology for that because from Twitter, right? Um, this, I don't, I, yeah, it's, it's hard to say because YouTube does not have a good track record. But I mean, they let some of the worst of stuff on this channel. Like they let the worst stuff on on YouTube, and yet you get just one strike, that one BS strike, and then just ban. Like I I don't think I've ever seen anything happen like that before. Me neither. I'm I still don't believe it actually. <laughs> now, question though, because I don't know if and everybody watching might not know you live. In Denmark. Um, in Denmark, right. And so what what are your laws in regards to like hate speech and, and all that stuff? Is it is it I'm like, not strict? sure? <laughs> I'm not sure, but the last time I checked the US was is way more woke than my country. So um yeah. Right. But, you know, now I I no, go I'm, ahead. I'm the president of this organization, new anti-woke LGBT organization here, and we've been a lot in the media, so that means we have a lot of haters, and I can't help thinking if that's also, it also has something to do with, with me getting banned, but if it's a American department, like, I don't think it's relevant, but it's a little bit weird why they didn't ban me a year ago when my organization didn't exist. So <laughs> well you weren't making headway. I mean you cuz you've grown quite quickly which has been awesome to watch. Um but it's like that's that's part of it. But you know it's it's interesting because we we always hear them say why don't more trans people speak out about this? And the thing is is we do. Mm. And then we get banned because we don't because we're trans people that are speaking against the narrative that they want to push. We're speaking against their ideology. Right. And so I think that's, that's, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. And that's why we have to continue to help build, um, you know, platforms like rumble and stuff like that and get them to do, um, you know, good things. And I just called a person that I know that works at rumble today. So we are, uh, we're meeting and we're going <laughs> to, we're going to, we're going to see what we can do there because um, YouTube is not the future, um, especially if you're a, a creator that's on the right. So, um, yeah, a lot in the chat, you know, free Marcus. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. And then, no, I, I mean, we're trying to put pressure on YouTube, but I don't know. Oh. It's going to be really, it's, it's an uphill fight with some of these, with some of these, um, platforms like Twitter's pretty, was pretty easy after Elon took over because he said right. we are a free speech platform. And so you can appeal to that where this, I got my, I, I, YouTube I got my TikTok banned. I got my TikTok banned or, or like they, they took my account and then I, then I, um, I used my trans card and five minutes later I got my TikTok back. Um, so that was a little bit funny, but it didn't that work. Is, that is good. But, but you're, are you still on, do you still have a TikTok account? Yeah. I only use it just to watch TikToks. I, I don't, you know, yeah. every time I post it gets, uh, yeah, removed, the, the videos get removed. So I just. And it's yeah. all haters. Yeah. It's all haters. And I get death threats and it's, it's a mess. 
Yeah, my TikTok algorithm is really bad. I don't even go on there to watch videos just for con but only just for content. And so it's like it's just the worst of the worst on there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but now I saw even um Kelly Katigan um got a strike on TikTok today. And I mean that's the thing is she's gotta get she's got a lot of followers over there, but her they don't they don't care. Like no. they will just remove you with a million. 10 million followers they don't care they, they just remove you yeah so it's it's really is and it's gonna have to be something and now elon musk is also talking about um creating video platform on twitter and right so i've applied for subscriptions over there and Me you too. know maybe doing you know posting videos under under the subscription service um, and make it a very cheap subscription service so that you can go in there and possibly just pay for the videos that we're putting out. And maybe that'll help um, a little bit. And really all Elon has to do is flip the switch to put Periscope back up. Because Periscope, what is, what was when he, that? it was basic. So Periscope was an app that was owned by Twitter and it was basically like YouTube, but it wasn't, there wasn't a lot of ways to make money over on Periscope. Mm -hmm. That, that I knew of, at least I wasn't big enough to really do much. But um, yeah, it was you could go on there and you would post in Periscope. And a lot of times it would host the videos from Periscope and embed it right into a tweet as well. Um, and okay. he so they got rid of that, I think, last year or a year and a half ago. Um, but it's one of those things that when he purchased Twitter, he basically purchased Periscope and all the algorithms to it. So all they really have to do is flip the switch, turn it back on if he wants to, which is, it, it sounds like he said he wants to do something. He wants to, I think Vine was another one that Twitter owned that they, that they shut down too. And so he said that his service is going to kind of be like Vine with, um, with Periscope. So it's kind of going to pull both ends of the spectrum, like reels and stuff like that in there too. So hopeful. I'm hopeful and hope, hopefully we can figure out ways to um, see how that actually gets monetized. I know like a lot of creators are starting to publish full episodes on, on, uh, on Twitter. So, mm. I mean, but I think, I, I do think that rumble is the way to go right now um, because they already have a good platform set up. Um, my issue with rumble is they just don't have the advertisement right now, but I know that they're working on that. The good thing about Rumble, and this is what I found, I've when I've started doing these live streams, I realized that live streams get a lot more views on Rumble than YouTube. Like my average live stream over here on or on YouTube was like maybe 150, and I get like three to 400 views on a live stream over there. So uh, I, I think they're set up; it's, it's set up pretty good that way. Um, yeah. Even if even if you were just to do that, but. Hopefully yeah. we hear something back though, and we can put enough pressure on YouTube to bring it back. But yeah, we gotta I just, figure something out. Yeah, I won't accept. I won't accept this. Like, I, I need an explanation no. at least, and yeah. they can't give me one because there's no reason to ban me. Um, so that's why I'm not accepting this whole thing. Not because like I'm so mad at YouTube, and. <laughs> I want to boycott it and all those things. But at the same time, like it, it, it's like, I, I want, it should be my choice if I don't want to use YouTube anymore. Um, yeah. So I don't want that choice being made. For me. I think we all kind of want to get off YouTube, but right now it's the best platform we got. And the thing is, is you've spent how many? Four three, years. Four years. No, no. Four years on YouTube building your channel and just for it to just disappear yeah and it's, is, it's not just you know it's not just been my job and you know hobby or whatever it's like it's been a huge part of my life um it's yeah. the way that i'm connecting with the us and i don't know if it oh i'm just so devastated is is that where your audience mostly resided though was in the us yeah in english-speaking countries you know yeah britain australia okay. i think <laughs> yeah i i i know i think the u.s probably has the largest audience and so that makes sense but um 
Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's the way that you connect to people. It's I don't I don't know where we first met. It was either here or Twitter, but we were kind of in the same circles and yeah. I don't know. Or Instagram. <laughs> but it's yeah, I mean that's why I was like it's it's got to be you know, it's got to be devastating when that happens because like you said. Now, I mean, in you had become a full-time it had become your full-time job what six months yeah seven months ago actually almost nine nine months ago yeah and wow. i actually it's i quit like my full-time job <laughs> i quit my full-time job as a barista a little bit early no way too early on because i you know i i thought if i'm not gonna start now going all in i will never do it so mm-hmm. i needed the pressure i needed the financial pressure as well and it worked um yeah. So now I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I don't have a job. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that's, that's where I think for me, it's been very good because it's, it's actually been good that I've been growing so slowly because I didn't just jump into the YouTube and then getting banned wouldn't do a ton. I mean, I'm, I have different contracts that I'm doing and stuff like that. So there, in a lot of ways, I'm very uncancelable in that, in that regard, but Still, it, it, I mean, it's 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 something that even if it happened to me, then it would still be devastating. Be, 